Joining me right now is UFC strawweight contender Mackenzie Dern back on the show. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. You know, I'm really excited for this fight. You know, Nina's top five. It's what I wanted, you know, top 10 ranking. So really, really, really excited. The first fight of the year. And let's do it. It'll be ABC too, you know, and so many great things like first mom yeah. fight, you know, all these things. So I'm really, really excited. Definitely, you know, talking about a, a great year, 2020 was a phenomenal year for you, 3-0. You're know, you you're 28 years old, you know, like it's 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 that age, you know. It's like, is it the prime of Mackenzie Dern? That's the question that comes up, or is it just the evolution of your skill set? What is it? Uh, I, I think it's both, you know, and definitely involved. I think finally uh, I'm at a place, like in my life, I have the right structure at Ruka Gym, you know, with Perillo, with everything is like, I have this great structure that I can like, you know, really feel my my striking involved so much. And because of that, like I for a lot of fights, not a lot of fights, my last like four fights since my pregnancy, I've been saying like man, I one of the things I lost the most was my my strength, you know, my muscle. And I was really hoping to get like that back eventually, you know. And finally this camp I felt like okay, my striking is getting getting to the next level. My you know, my ground game is is staying sharp okay i think i'm ready to like bring in one more responsibility and that's like to think about my strength training and mm -hmm. i brought in my coach rogerio camões from brazil um you know he stayed here two months with me to really work my strength training and i think that's what we need to do you know to be the champ to be like you need to be professional you know you need to be the best of the best you need to be good in everywhere you know and so it's like okay i really feel like i'm starting to be like champ material you know and now i just need like the the platform to show it to everybody else <laughs> well you you know you got the platform coming up soon so that's, yeah. that's good it's good to see that you know the hard work and the development it, it eventually adds to opportunities for you yeah exactly you know that's exactly what it feels like you know me and my husband we we talk about that all the time like man when you do everything right you know the things they just start to, f to flow and it's like it's crazy i post like one video of like my workout a little workout um or like mitts or something and just even like the fans or the the comments you know it's a different vibe you know now people are like you know oh you should get better here or you should do this or it's you know people just commenting like man she's gonna be a champ or man that's like championship man she's so motivated she's so you know and so it's like man people are noticing this you know and i'm just like doing me you know but it's really um it's like really gratifying to see like that everyone else is noticing what i feel like i'm doing you know so I, i'm happy about that does that help with you, you know, seeing the positive, the positive energy from the fans, from the people watching you instead of, you know, beginning of your career? I guess you were getting a lot more criticism back then. Yeah, definitely. I mean, some people, they kind of like, you know, they like to prove prove people wrong and things like that. You know, um, like I you have to know how to go with. It, but um, now it it's way better, you know, when you can mm -hmm. see like, OK, people are noticing it, you know, and. It's good, you know, when people notice it, you know that like the other girls in your division are noticing it, you know, and mm -hmm. that's that's the most important is for them to notice it, you know. So yeah. um, as long as they know like that I'm getting there and I'm getting closer and closer and I'm just getting better and better. I'm not getting like worse and worse or mo just motivated or things like that, you know, mm -hmm. I think that will, you know, open up the opportunities to really get that belt. You know, your last fight, UFC 256, it was an exciting fight. Unanimous decision win over a, a, a dangerous opponent, you know. And and one thing that I noticed that you made these adjustments heading into the third round, is that something that you're very proud of looking back at it now? Com you know, because in, in the past, you didn't really go to the third rounds very often. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was good. Like, I think it was good because I think from, you know, my last fights and now, forward i think most of the people their strategy will be like to take me to the third you know like to get me out of the first round put me into like deep waters you know kind of hit me and move like hit and move like point you know kind of win on mm -hmm. points and go to the judge's decision i think that's the biggest um probably or, or knockout you know but mostly i think judge's decision that's what a lot of people the strategy of a lot of people will, will be when they fight me um so i think that this fight um was the best way to show like man like okay you can have like strategy and all these things it's good to have strategy and stuff like that but in the end like who wants it more you know and it's going to be hard to take it away from who wants it more you know so i think really show like i'm a fighter that kind of the third round i don't go down you know i go up and um you know i think you know if you're winning like maybe even even if it's one and one 
but and they need to put the pressure to win the third round they need to exchange like get close to me you know and then that's for me being a grappler you know that's what i what i need you know is for them to get close so it's kind of like i think it was really good to show the other people that like man to play like too much strategy with me mm-hmm. it's not going to be a good you know because in the end uh you need to like exchange to win the round and th- you know to win the rounds like you need mm-hmm. to kind of connect you know and to connect that's where it's dangerous for them you know so um if we need to strike i'll strike mm-hmm. you know like i can bring out the heart you know and of course to go to the ground to go to the ground you know so I'm, i think the biggest thing for me mm-hmm. in the fight was just kind of for me to like um be calm you know and i get too excited you know too excited mm-hmm. and i mean i want to just keep going forward going forward even though i have the cardio to go forward go forward it's like you can make um make a mistake and get countered and something like that you know so really it was a really good experience like i said i think it was good to show kind of like man it's a little bit risky to go to strategy with someone like me that's like pressure all the time forward and a grappler so it's like okay you can win one round but if i win the other round then you need to you need to get close and then that's going to be kind of dangerous too, you know? Yeah. You make a, a very good point in, in that. If you get too close, you <laughs> grab them and then you got to go to the ground and that's very, very dangerous for everybody. Now. Um, yeah. I think a lot of your opponents that, you know, in the top 10, top five, they're going to look at your last fight. They're going to study that. I think deeply compared to the other fights where you got the finishes early. Cause you, you, you did what was expected in those fights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's good, you know, because even like I said that Jimmy, you know, we're like, man, it's good because I think anything that everyone everyone watches from my last fight, I'm going to be like even a different fighter on this next mm-hmm. fight, you know, because I feel like that fight, I people saw uh, like I was involving, but man, I feel like I turned the corner after that, like during this whole camp and everything and like things really connected for me. Um, striking wise and everything so it's good I'm happy that they watched that fight you know because I feel like I'm a totally different person now of course you still have like you know jab jab over you know like the simple combos you know things like that but you know just totally more you know eyes open how you you know defend the things and the 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 punches and things like that so it's good that that's kind of how they see me and you know each fight's going to be like bigger bigger surprise Definitely. Well, your next opponent is Nina Ansarov. She's sitting at number five. Huge opportunity to possibly crack the top 10. When you were offered her, what was your reaction? You must have been, you know, over the moon. I was so excited. You know, Mick was like, man, I have a good fight for you. I think you're going to be happy. You know, I said, who who is it? You know, then he said, Nina. I said, what? Number five? You know, like that's that's exactly what I was asking for. Like not for her in specific, but someone in the top rank, someone that's going to like push me forward, you know and you know i was really really happy and i was surprised you know like man i came back four months after my pregnancy i think she'll be like six months pregnant mm-hmm. after the pregnancy so you know i know what it's like i know it like I, of course every family every mom is different you know they have different experiences and everything like that um so i and i know how tough she is she is you know and stuff like that and how you know the pregnancy isn't like a reason why you lose but um you know you can win be after the pregnancy and things like that but i know how good you feel after the pregnancy and you think like you know oh you can do anything and stuff like that but i me at my four months i didn't know how much better i'll be now with like almost 24 months later you know what i mean i'm like man i'm a different person you know like i'm way better than i was 20 months ago you know so uh it's like man that's a great if, if there's a time to fight Nina, you know it's not honestly yeah yeah you're in a unique position because you're fighting her at this moment and also you know what she has gone through somewhat what are some of the obstacles that you faced when you returned it you know when you look back at it you're like oh maybe i should have made a different decision on that uh i mean i don't regret fighting when i did i think i could have won that fight um against Amanda Ribas. like i think she just was you know her time was better you know she was more you you're coming from like fighting after fight after fight you know so you come from like a momentum where when you're pregnancy you're just trying to get back you're trying to catch up to where you left off of you know mm-hmm. and you know people who didn't go through that you know they're just getting they're going forward from where they were you know so you know it's like here you know what i mean so um i think just timing timing wise you know hopefully you know my timing is going to be better than hers you know my my thinking you know and aggress aggression you know i think that's something that like comes after getting 
it's different, you know, with the four ounce gloves than like in our sparring, you know, that's even if it's a small glove, but it's probably not going to be 100% with the four ounce gloves and sparring, you know, so definitely like it's a different aggression that you have in the fight and just going through the through that and experiencing that, that you get that back, you know, so um, just getting, you know, punched in the face like 100% and all that stuff that you get that, that like, you know, that pressure to keep going mm -hmm. forward and things like that, you know, so I think I have that, you know, my last fight, I got my nose broken and you have to keep going forward and things like that. So I definitely think I have that um, pushing for me in this fight. So your nose was broken after yeah. your last fight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it was pretty swollen in the post-fight press conference, you know, from, oh, yeah. <laughs> from when you were talking to Joe Rogan to the time you went to the, it was like, poof, I was like, oh, something was wrong with that nose. Yeah, how, did, yeah. how was the recovery? It was good. You know, it was good. I thought it would be like, I never had a broken nose before, you know, and. I was kind of like, oh, I want to like do like, you know, get it all nice and everything. And the doctor's like, man, it doesn't it doesn't make sense, you know, to do anything to it. You know, like he just like push in place, kind of like mm -hmm. kind of in place. It's still a little bit crooked, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, my husband thinks I'm beautiful. And that's, you know, <laughs> that's, that's all that matters. Yeah. But yeah, you know, he said it's just it, it's not worth to do like cosmetic work now because mm -hmm. I'm just going to get punched in the face again. And mm -hmm. what's crazy, like four weeks after I came back to training and I did like a little like like moving movement with tj dillashaw and he boom knocked me like with a stiff drive right up my nose and it just blew up again you know i was like ah you know but everything is good i've been like i was i was a little bit nervous okay how am i gonna be like in sparring to feel like get punched in the face i didn't want to use helmet or anything he's like no no i'm gonna lose the feeling of it you know and that feeling of getting punched in the face i'm gonna get nervous and finally like we got it and man i've been like maybe eight weeks eight weeks with no helmet on, sparring and everything like that. And it makes me move my head away more now. Oh, you got to move around with TJ Dillashaw? How was that? Yeah, it was fun. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. It was a good opportunity, you know. Like, he stopped by the Ruka Jam and him. And Juan, I don't know his last name, but he's with Be his Bellator champion. Archuleta. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so nice, you know. Like, you know, body shots and Cheeto Vera and everything like that. I'm like, man. I mean, I'm like, you know, the only girl with all these guys and they're like all champions and all these things, you know, so future champions. I'm like, OK, we're in good hands here. Definitely good hands. Uh, how do you like the matchup, though? You know, with, with Nina, the stylistic advantages, what do you see? I love like striker versus grappler, you know, definitely like the strikers, the fish out of water when they hit the ground, you know, way more than like, for example, Verna, who's, you know, even though I'm more confident in my ground game than any other jujitsu girl, you know, that will be. In the UFC right now, but um, you know they still use when they have ground game. You know, like okay, you still gotta kind of be aware, especially with punches and things like that. Um, so striker versus grappler, it's like way better for me. Uh, but Nina, Nina is different than a lot of strikers because her her takedown defense is so so good. You know, it's she's a little bit taller, you know, and she like her reflexes are so good. I see it at least all the fights I see. You know, like she always catches the people when they go for the takedown. You know, but um you know th there's no way to to hide you know like i saw her with tatiana suarez who took her down a lot of the times mm -hmm. claudia gadena uh carla sparza you know like a lot of these wrestler girls took her down you know so of course i'm not a wrestler you know but um you know she was able to get up with them i think if i get her down it's not going to be like the same like she's not going to be able to get up you know but i'm not the wrestler that they are mm -hmm. you know so it's yeah. it's a it's a crazy matchup you know i think will be a good fight um but i think my hands and just putting thing everything together i think that's what's going to be like the most success for me in this fight what makes you different from those other wrestler grapplers is that you can pull guard the path to you getting into a position is different for them compared to you i think that's a huge advantage in this matchup oh definitely you know it's like man and even just like I don't know, like, you know, she likes to kick a lot, you know, like, mm -hmm. and I mean, if I do a kick and I fall, or, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, I can just like jump on the legs and heel mm -hmm. hooks and, you know, like knee bars and all these things, you know? So for me, the ground is like way more, um, you know, not just ground and pound. I think a lot of wrestlers are a little bit more like ground and pound and that style, you know? So, which is a lot from what I saw from all three of them, Claudia and Tatiana and, and Carla Sparza, you know, it was like the three rounds, Nina, like on the third round and most of them start to put the pressure, you know? um you know she got taken down but was able to get up sometime because it was kind of just ground and pound and kind of went in but it's like me if i get to the ground it's just okay 
let's work on the submissions, you know. <laughs> so how do you see this fight playing out? Do you see a fight like your last one against John DeRobo where it's going to be like a three-round war? Or do you see something like the, the Marcos fight where you can get to the ground and, and get that submission real quick? Yeah, I think it's gonna be more like uh like like submission soon mm -hmm. like in the first round, you know. Uh that's my goal, but honestly, you know, is to get I wanna fight a lot of times this year, you know, like mm -hmm. not a lot, you know, but I wanna try to get to the belt by the end of the year, you know. So mm -hmm. hopefully like with the win on this fight it can put me seeing where the girls are gonna fight, you know, Carla Spars, I think is fighting the number three, the she's from China, so I don't know. Yan, her, yeah, Yan, Yan. yeah, Yan and Rose with Zeng Weili, you know, so it's like a lot of things are going to happen in the top four, top five girls, you know, so I uh, definitely want to get in, get out, no broken nose, no injuries mm. again, and be be back. And, you know, if, I feel I'm doing my striking is evolving so much, so I don't feel like the pressure that I need to show it, you know, or anything like that, you know, if I can get in and submit, I know that on the right time, the striking is going to like, it, it, people are gonna see it you know when i have to use it it's gonna come out like in my last fight you know if i if i could submit i of course i prefer to submit but um i needed to use my striking and in the end that's what got me the win you know so i'm happy about that and i'm excited for this fight you know yeah sometimes you do see fighters they get love they, they fall in love with the striking even though they're a grappler and they have so good submission skills yeah. and it's a big mistake and i'm glad to hear that from you that hey yeah. if you're gonna give me the submission i'm gonna go get that after you yeah. know the, the striking is my backup plan and i'm getting good at that too yeah. um with the division you were just talking about it you know when you look at it you got rose fighting Zhang. we talked about that last time we spoke and then yan esparza so if you stay healthy, do you feel like a win over Nina puts you in a position where you could like just jump the line maybe if someone's injured for too long? Yeah, definitely. For sure. Mm. You know, um, I mean, I think both of them, they're fighting right after me, you know, um, like maybe the next week, I think mm. April 17th um, or some somewhere there, you know, but I don't know. I mean, they have like Joanna. I think Joanna's number, I don't know, two or something, you know, yeah. so it's like. Anything can happen, you know. I I, I really wonder what, where I'm gonna where they're gonna put me in this after this fight if I win, like where, where, where I'm gonna go to the ranking. But like I said, now I'm at the point where I got my strength training coach. I did like eight two months just working strength. I think a lot of people are gonna see a big difference, like physical wise of how I look and everything for this fight. And that's where I want to be, you know. It's like champ material, you know. And the champ material is like professional in all aspects, you know. In the fit, in the strength training the striking the men the mental part the you know the ground game you know so i'm now i'm at the point like because my strength is i feel i'm strong now um mm -hmm. uh, i can accept the fight you know hey someone's hurt okay let me jump in because i'm ready you know i'm, I'm ready there like mental wise and anything like that but let's get past next yeah. week first <laughs> definitely 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 you're in a prime position april 10th this weekend actually it's fight week ufc on abc2 you talked about it earlier huge opportunity thank you mackenzie always a, a pleasure speaking with you always smiles positive <laughs> energy thank you so much yeah thanks so much Woo let's do it Take a move in the ring you can hit me with a word.